welcome back to my channel. I always do some sort of hand movement, don't I? Hey guys, what's up? What's poppin'? What's good? You all right? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't know why I'm so energetic today, but I'm here to do part two, two of life after uni. And we're talking about friends and social life. I mean, we're talking about friends and social life to be quite honest with you this video it shouldn't be too long i doubt it's going to be very long and as a matter of fact your your friendships and social life are we going to last as long as this video lasts after uni yeah i said it yeah your friendship and your your, your, your social life it's going to be rather short <laughs> no i'm joking but i'm a reader no, I'm joking, but I'm not really, to be quite honest with you, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm joking to an extent, but I'm not to another extent, obviously I'm over exaggerating by saying it's going to last as long as this video lasts, but it's probably not going to last that long. Also, disclaimer, before someone comes and cuts my head off, obviously it's very subjective to me, it differs from person to person, however what I can say is that majority of people that I know or that I've spoken to kind of have had similar experiences so yeah it is what it is but let's start off with social life yeah because that one's quite interesting and juicy yeah um for me anyway i'm gonna tell you what i thought my social life would be like versus what it's really like so when i was in uni and you know it's coming up to the end of uni i was like i was ecstatic in my head i don't think i let anyone know but i was so excited i was ready to go back home to london I was ready to be an adult, I was ready to, like I just thought my social life was going to be lit, I thought like obviously all my friends in uni, we were all pretty much finishing at the same time, so I was like yeah we're never, like there's never ever going to be that excuse of oh I have assignments to do, I have a deadline, or I have an exam to advise for, like everything's going to be lit right, because everyone's kind of essentially free, obviously you guys know I had a job as well, I already had a job at hand, so I was thinking yeah, I'm going to meet some cool people at my workplace, we're going to go for a cheeky after work drink every now and then, <laughs> I just thought yeah, like social life is going to be lit, no like I legit thought it was going to be lit and obviously I also had some friends in London who lived in London, so I was excited to come back to them, no, I don't know. I was extremely excited. Like, I was actually genuinely excited. And then I came back and my social life has been non-existent. <laughs> no, legit, let me stop laughing. My social life has been non-existent, as in, I haven't been out. I think, I, no, let me not lie to you guys. I think I've been out, I think, I've been out twice, let's say, in the night time. One was out was a friend's birthday and then the other was just to meet a friend other than that i haven't been out i mean i've been out during the daytime but not even with friends like that like maybe to run errands that sounds so sad <sighs> but honestly guys i haven't been out social life has been non-existent um when in terms of like the work friends that i thought i was gonna make i didn't like any of my work people okay i liked a few but even still because i spent so much time at work like the last thing I wanted to do outside of work was to chill with my work people like no and then in terms of like the friends that I left in London like where were they please like where where like and then also some of the friends that I thought you know I was going to finish uni with they ended up staying in uni so there was just like no social like compared to like how I used to go out before when I was in uni not that I went out a lot anyway but just compared to like my social life back then to what it is now it's like a drastic change and it's a weird one because I would have thought that it would have gotten better rather than worse it doesn't even make sense to me and um it's just not fair like I have no social life <laughs> I haven't been out my house in my defense though the reason why my social life is probably like really extremely like low might be because i also moved area so i now live in like a completely different area like i know no one down here it's kind of villagey that looks like a village but i like it i like the area but it just means that i'm not within close proximity proximity to anyone but to honestly it wouldn't even be a problem let me not lie i just don't have any friends to go and see to be honest with you because if i really wanted to it's not like i live like deep 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 village I can still get to London, so it's not that. But 
friends social life is really like i think for me anyway it really hit hard right like, there really was no social life let's talk about friends <laughs> so so much things when it comes to friends um what i'm about to say isn't necessarily like a negative thing i think the way your friendships change after uni is it even negative i think it's more positive than negative you will lose friends you probably will lose touch with the people that you were friends with in uni because there's for so many reasons let's start off with the fact that you might live in london and your friends might live in different cities or your friends might even be like international students who you know are going to go back to their home country like <laughs> Everyone lives in different places and another thing is obviously it's hard to make time when you're out of uni to meet with each other. Some will go on to do, you know, work. People are just basically doing different things. So try and find a common day or time where you guys can all meet is going to be quite hard. And then also let's not forget that the one thing you guys had in common was uni. You guys were all in the same city within close proximity to each other. It was much easier to just, you know, link your friend at 12 a.m. in the morning or talk to your friend or be with your friend 24 seven if you wanted to. You're now back at home living separate lives and <laughs> but the biggest thing I think that really not spoils friendships but kind of like puts friendship the friendships that you have on the back burner is like you know when you start uni you you embark on this new journey everyone always says there's a new chapter in your life um especially if you go um away from home so if you go to uni outside of home and you live alone you know you start to become independent more responsible and you start to really feel like you're an adult should i say and it's like a new version of you well that same journey or that same feeling kind of happens again after uni it is like another new chapter um it's a new journey this is the journey of adulting you're now like you know becoming an adult and i feel like after uni is when you really start to think about friendships the type of friendships you want the type of person you want to be the type of people you want to be around the type of things you want to do and you might just realize that the friends that you had just don't fit in with who you're trying to become what you're trying to do and all of them things there so I feel like it's a bit of a tricky one it's a really tricky stage to be in I can't lie because you're still young at heart but you are becoming an adult so you're trying to make smart decisions and stuff like that so you might find that the friends you had in uni you no longer have anything in common with them which is fine I think it's fine like the only reason you had anything in common with them was because of uni like uni is no longer there so you really get to see and test like your friendships and see which one were actually real friendships i think that the friends that you do carry on with you after uni um are most likely going to be a lifelong friends uh another thing i think when you finish uni you really start to understand and appreciate the value of friendship or what friendship actually means to you like your bestest friend could be that like one person you only speak to once once a year but when you speak it's like broski <laughs> i don't know why i done that but you know what i'm trying to say so yeah like you will lose a lot of friends or should i say you will drop a lot of friends out not for any malicious reason or because you're holding grudge or anything like that but just because you're now embarking on different <laughs> ventures in your life now like everyone just goes ahead and does different things your friendship will last for a period of time but that's what i'm saying you really get to see which friendships are going to last for the long run not all of your friendships will last forever that's just the honest truth oh another thing so your friends that you left in london or wherever you're from the friends that you left back at home reality is that they've probably moved on you know same way you moved on they've moved on they're doing their own thing now you know there's no hard feelings yeah i think i've said what i wanted to say i just feel like honestly when you finish uni it's like you're a newborn baby again you're like in this world that you don't you're so unfamiliar with and you just have to navigate your way through but it's not that bad to be honest with you you will feel lonely but it's not that bad nah it's not that bad so anyway yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um the next one would be part three where, what am i talking about i think it's the reality of moving back home and i might talk about finances i might just throw them in together and speak on both of them because again that should be a short video if there's anything else you guys want to know about life after uni hit me up hit me up put it down in the comment section below and i will talk about it but yeah like don't be surprised don't say i didn't warn you that you know your social life ain't gonna be lit like it is what it is so <laughs> yeah anyway guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to like 
well I just said give it a thumbs up so that is technically liking but anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys again in my next video bye and I'm just thinking to myself why did I go to uni like was it even worth it like the job that I'm doing or the jobs that I'm applying for now don't even require a degree why did I go to uni